Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're good. It, it was supposed to be a 30 day challenge of going live every day, every day, every day, or uploading a lesson every day. I think I skipped yesterday only in terms of uploading a lesson, but also I skipped lots of days without going live, but it's okay. I'm here now and uh, there's always a lot of things you can watch on my Instagram page, YouTube page, TikTok, etc. So I wanted to come live at least today to give you a live Lebanese Arabic lesson and I was thinking about something. It's simple but it's also complicated and I actually have a lot of students who ask me about it and it's actually the conjugation of verb to say or to tell in Lebanese Arabic and how it changes when I'm saying just to tell or when I'm saying to tell him or to tell her etc. Yalla, so if you have some time stay here. So now we are 13 people, 12 people. Make it more and stay, okay? So 14 plus the other people who will join. I'm going to be turning my camera and showing you. And uh, I hope you benefit from this lesson, whether you're a beginner or advanced or intermediate. This is very important for you. So stay, grab your piece of paper, a pencil, etc. Take your notes because it's important. And before I begin, I want to let you know that I run 30-day challenge courses as a pre-recorded package, so it's summertime. It's the best time to start learning Arabic if, you're, if you've always wanted to learn it like in a proper way and in a structured way. You can do the 30-day challenge on your own, but anytime you have questions, you can ask me. I'm always answering my students' questions. I'm always sending them reminders, and there are five levels available. Absolute Beginners Lebanese, Beginners Lebanese, General 1, General 2, and General 3 like extremely intensive courses but of course you don't have to kill yourself and finish it in 30 days i always recommend finishing it in three even four months so if you do two to three lessons a week that's more than enough two lessons is even a lot because it comes with one hour to one hour and a half daily lessons and lots of activities lots of audio lessons and material apart from the main video lessons okay i spoke a lot let's begin so first of all i'll show you my uh, screen my my camera is I, you don't know where i held my camera i have like a scotch tape and i put the camera inside so it holds itself so i'm going to turn my camera first let's start by checking the conjugation of a verb to say i'm not going to go so much into the rules of how we conjugate verbs in the past tense you can do that when you're doing the courses but I'm going to talk more about what happens when we add the endings of the past tense, okay? Yalla, if you're staying here, give me a thumb up, grab your piece of paper, and let's begin. So, I'll try to include, yes, I think you can see everything. So, how do we first conjugate verb to tell or verb to say in Arabic, okay? Because in Arabic, if you want to say, I told you, for example, you say, I said for you, which translates as I told you. Okay, so Anna ilt, I said. So, uh, actually, let me give you like a quick, quick, quick um, idea about how we can conjugate verbs in the past. So, you have, when it comes to verbs in the past tense, think of it as if one verb has two roots, not root, the root of the verb, but the uh, of the word, but the root of the verb. So in this case, it has il and it has al. You have to memorize these two. We use the first one. I like to call it past one root. We use it with the with ana, يعني I, inta, يعني you, masculine, inti, يعني you, feminine, huwe, uh, sorry, sorry, not huwe. So ana, inta, inti. And then we also use it, use it with nihna and into. يعني we and you plural. Nihna and into. Okay? So think of like the people who are with us in the room. Anna, I'm in the room. Inta, you are in the room. I'm speaking to you. Inti, you are in the room. I'm speaking to you. Nihna, we are in the room because I can speak to you. And into, you are in the room. I can speak to you. So with these five, I use past one, which is il. Okay? I will write it. Il for now. And al, which also is pronounced as il, it's the same thing by the way. It depends on your maybe area, what you what you're used to pronouncing. Maybe I say il more. 
Al maybe is more general or more common in Lebanon. Okay, so this is I like to call this I like to call past two root. We use it with huwe, يعني he, he, يعني she, and hin, يعني they. If you think about it, if I'm talking about someone who we, he's not necessarily in the room with us. He, she's not necessarily in the room with us. Hin, they are not necessarily in the room with us. Hajami. So, who we, he, and hin, we will use past two with it. Al or il. Ana, enta, ente, nahna, ento. We will use il with it. Okay? So far, did you understand what I'm saying? Yes or no? So far. Why do we use the first root, il? And why do we use the second root, il? Yalla, tell me. Okay, tell me if you're... Hi, Anna. Yalla, stay here. It's a nice lesson for you. Uh, so, tell me, yalla, why do we use il? And why do we use il or al? The past one and past two. Anna, do you remember from class? Oh, no, no, you didn't do general one, right, Anna? <laughs> Yalla, I'm going to wait for someone to explain it. With which personal pronouns do we use il? And with which personal pronouns do we use al or il? Yalla, guys, what's up with I said, don't blacken my face <laughs> as a way to say don't kind of like embarrass me so i was saying the question is anna i was just explaining in arabic when we're conjugating verbs in the past tense we have we i like to say we have two past not in arabic okay when i'm conjugating in lebanese arabic i like to say we have two past roots one is il for example with verb to say and the other is al we use il with some people and we use al with some people. So, yes, can you specify all of you who are saying? So, let me repeat. We use il with ana, I, inta, you masculine, inti, you feminine, nihna, we, and into. And we use al or el, you can pronounce it el, it's the same thing with huwe, yani he, he, yani she, and hin, يعني they. Got it? And then we start adding the endings that with which we can conjugate in the past tense, which always will be the same. First of all, let me start by highlighting them so that when I'm reading them, you know which are the endings that you will repeat all the time with all the verbs when you're conjugating in the past tense. Okay, let's get the highlighter and make it the bigger one. Uh, no, not this one. Wait, this one here. Okay, يعني. I'm just gonna let's make another color pink or purple. Let's do pink. So we have the t, t, and then we have another t, t, and then here t. I like perfect person. I prefer to write it with a kasra rather than how I wrote it here. Let me remove the y, it's better. Say, sorry, bus. Okay, so t, I'm just Quickly saying nothing now. I'm just highlighting so that when I read it, you will understand what I mean. Okay, just bear with me and highlight. If you're writing, highlight with me. And the na and the con. So sorry. To and o. Okay. Why did I highlight exactly these? I'm going to show you in Arabic first and then... Hi, Kassan. I'm going to show... I'm going to show you first in Arabic and then I will show you in, in Roman letters, okay? So, Ana ilt, I said, Ana ilt. So you see, this is the il I was talking about. So what did we add? We added t, Ana ilt. Inta ilt. Again, here we have il and we added another t. So I said, Inta ilt. You said, Inta il. You see, the il is here, il t. So we're adding the T with a kasra. Inti, ilti. You, feminine said. Huwe, you see, I'm using past two here. This one. Huwe, al. We can also pronounce it el. And we don't add anything to huwe. 
just we put the, the, the second past, past two. هي آلت, we can also pronounce it as I said, آلت. So what are we adding? We are adding to آل, the second past, past two. We're adding a kasra under it. And we're adding the T. هي آلت. Okay, so far, نحنا إلنا. We're back to إل because نحنا is one of the people in the room. إل. Plus, we're adding the نا. نحنا إلنا. إنتو إل. Again, إل. The people in the room. And then تو. So, we are adding the O in the end. Okay? إل, uh, sorry, the تو. Not O. So, إنتو إل تو. So, we're adding تو. With the hinni, you plural into by the way. Hinni, they, alu, they said, al is the second past, and then we add the o in the end. So this rule here with the endings applies to all the verbs. And past one and past two applies to all the verbs. Before I show you with the Roman alphabet, tell me if you understood or it's very complicated. I was going quite fast, by the way. But... Tell me, who understood? Give me a thumb up. We're only eight people. Can you imagine Instagram? I don't know what to tell. I don't know. I don't know how upset I get with Instagram. Okay. It's good you understood Anna and fifth cat. I forgot your name. It's so upsetting that imagine I have 30,000 something followers, which is just a fancy number, by the way, on Instagram. It's nothing. Instagram shows my videos to no one, the lives to no one. When I had 400 followers, I had the exact numbers of same viewers. And now the same. Shuhayda! I don't like it. Anyways, now we're six people. Out of, imagine, 30.5, 35,000 people, only six. That's like 0, 0.00 something percent. Anyways, yalla. <laughs> Okay, now good, we are eight. Instagram is starting to listen, maybe. Nine, nine, yalla, more. Okay, so I'm going to quickly repeat the conjugation, but showing you the Roman alphabet. And then I'm going to explain when we add uh, the L in the end what happens. So, Ana ilt, I said. Ana ilt. Inta ilt. You, masculine, said. Inta ilt. Inti, ilti. You, feminine, said. Inti, ilti. Huwe al, or huwe el, he said. Huwe al, or huwe el. Hiye alit, she said. You can also pronounce it. Hiye alit. Nehna ilna, we said. Nehna ilna. Intu, ilto. You plural said. Into ilto. Hinni alo. They said. Hinni alo. So let's see what are we adding exactly. Which endings we are adding. And let's highlight them. Ana ilt. We added the t. Inta ilt. We added t. Inta ilte. We added t. Huwe al. With huwe remember x. We're not adding anything. هي آلت or هي آلت we add it sound نحنا إلنا we added نا إنتو إلتو we added تو هن آلو or إلو we added أو same endings you always add in the past tense okay so far now what happens if I want to say I said to him you said to her he said whatever Let's see. I'm going to erase all this mess and I'll just keep the camera on the Roman alphabet so that you can see. Hi, Franco. So that you can see how we conjugate when we add the for me, for you, etc. Okay? So, as I told you, in English, for example, you would say, I said, you said, sorry. <laughs> Let me turn my camera. In English, you say, I said, okay? Or you say, I told him or I told her. But in Arabic, what we're doing is, I told for him. I told for her. 
she told for me or she said for me that's why it's translating as she told me and he told me and etc okay so what do we need let's let's say for example we want to say i told him okay him is the sound lo in the end okay and her is the sound la okay what is this sound why am i calling it a sound actually let me turn my camera on and show you. so basically at the end when i say lo it's harf jar with a dhamma we call it l and this is a silent hey lo okay which means for him okay and la this this is the lamb followed by the silent ha and the alif la that's for her so it's just a la so l o is for him l a is for her lo and la okay now we will just add lo all the way to down and la all the way to down what's gonna happen this is the tricky part okay so let me erase here and let's start by saying by adding just lo from the beginning till the end okay we will add as i said l o which means for him now ana ilt plus lo is not going to be pronounced ana ilt lo it's weird to say that what we're going to do is we're going to add kind of like a uh sound here okay so we will end up saying ana il tillo rather than just saying o we're kind of saying i and the double l il tillo ana il tillo okay the same here we were not we're not going to say inta ilt plus lo we will say inta il tillo okay so this is a pronunciation detail now inta ilt plus lo here we're not adding anything basically we're just changing the pronunciation what's happening inta ilt here it's a kasra okay at the end of the word we pronounce it as a e but when i'm adding lo i'm not going to pronounce it inta ilt lo the e changes the sound into a e actually in standard arabic classical arabic they pronounce it qulti with a e it's just with the lebanese accent that it's, it ends up pronounced as a e at the end of the word so inta ilt plus lo we're not going to say inta ilt lo we will say inta ilt lo inta ilt lo now who we al it's a long a what happens here when i add lo I'm not going to say who we al lo. We will drop it, one of the alifs, and we will say, you see, there is a a l here, al plus lo. It becomes like a double l, and it's who we al lo. Who we al lo. He ye al it. She said. This one stays the same. He ye al it plus lo. He ye al it lo. Or, of course, you can pronounce it a lit lo. نحنا إلنا the sound is a at the end plus lo in the Lebanese accent we're not going to pronounce it نحنا إلنا لو although it's not wrong in other Arabic accents for example in Syria possibly in Jordan that a in the Lebanese accent most probably is being pronounced as a a sound so it's نحنا إلنا لو okay نحنا إلنا لو now, into is ilto with a o sound in the end. When I'm adding lo, I'm not pronouncing it into ilto lo. I'm pronouncing it into il tu lo. Why? Because this wow alif at the end of the verb in the Lebanese accent is pronounced as a o because it's at the end. But when I add plus lo here, it's no more at the end of the word. That's why it's, it goes back to being pronounced as a regular U. So it's into ilto, but into ilto lo. Same applies here. Look, hinne alu plus lo. Hinne alu lo. Okay, I'm exaggerating here. You just say alu lo or elu lo. Okay, so the pronunciation in the endings is changing a lot when we're adding lo. 
I would say memorize it so that when you bump into another verb that acts in the same way, you recognize it, okay? So let me repeat. I'm going to say, Ana ilt, Ana iltillo, Inta ilt, Inta iltillo, Inte ilti, Inte iltilo. Say with me out loud. Huwe al, Huwe allo. Hiye alit, Hiye alitlo. You can also pronounce it Hiye alit, Hiye alitlo. Nehna ilna, Nehna ilnelo. Into ilto, Into iltulo. Hinne alo, Hinne alulo. You can also pronounce it Hinne elo, Hinne elulo. Now, let's read them in Arabic. It's going to be the same. We're just adding the uh, letters here. Ana el-tillo. I will write it with the shadda here. Ana el-tillo. Sorry, I'm not going to put a dhamma on the ha because it's a silent ha. So, ana el-tillo. I just, I'm too lazy to open the te. Khalas. Enta el-tillo. Okay, this is not the final te. You just need to put the middle te, remember. Enta El, I would add the E here. I prefer Ente El Tilo. Huwe Allo. I will drop the Alif. Huwe Allo. Hiye Alitlo. Nehna El Ne. I'm pronouncing it as a E. Nehna Elna, but Nehna El Ne Lo. Ento Elto. Into here, I of course we need to drop the alif before we write uh, this, so let me just add it here. Into ilto, into ilto lo, hinne alu, hinne alu lo. Okay, this is in the masculine form. If you're saying I said to him, you said to him, if you want to say to her, you simply change the lo into la, so it becomes la like that. And, and you pronounce it in the same way. Ana el tilla. Enta el tilla. Ente el tila. Huwe ella. Hiye alitla. Nehna. El nela. Ento el tula. Hinne elula or alula. So it's exactly the same, but instead of lo, you're saying la. And of course, here in Arabic, you're adding here la, la, la in the end. It's a silent he. In the Lebanese accent, usually we don't pronounce the ha. If I say el tilha, of course it's not wrong if you pronounce the ha, but it's common to drop the pronunciation of the 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 ha when it comes to pronouns in the Lebanese dialect. Understood? Let me know if you understood. If you didn't understand, save this video, watch it later when you have a, and when you can put aside like half an hour. One hour to sit down, write down your notes and everything properly. And yeah, that's it. I guess that's enough for today. It's almost 12 midnight. I still need to clean my face, go to sleep. Thank you, uh, uh, Anton. Anton or Antonia. Thank you for whoever joined. We're still only five people. I hope sometime uh, Instagram starts showing the live or the video that I post to more people. Maybe if you click likes, comment, always like try to maybe share the video. Maybe if you bookmark sometimes the videos, maybe if you leave a comment under the videos, Anton, okay. It really helps. Yeah, I keep yawning. It means it's I'm yawning. So uh, make sure you are. Yes, okay. So may, maybe I should tell my viewers to activate their notifications as well. Tell you guys, yalla, enough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Yalla, bye.